Adoptive immunotherapy is a, an area of interest across the country right now. Um, and we've been involved at some level in this for a number of years. There have been several protocols that, have, um, that we've taken through. Uh, and the most recent iteration, the one that's active right now, is for patients who have diffuse large B cell lymphoma or mantle cell lymphoma that's relapsed after prior treatment. So those kind of patients have a poor prognosis and generally speaking, um, transplant is, is the appropriate um, therapy, but we're, we're not thrilled with the, with the results that we have. And for patients who go in with high risk, particularly if they've had difficulty achieving their first remission, we know that, that transplant is, is um, not a home run. Uh, and so our goal is to try to improve those odds. Um, with allogeneic transplant, we have this second level of, of treatment, right, that the new cells are better at finding leftover disease and killing it than our own bodies are. And so um, that's another level of, of therapy, but allogeneic transplant carries with it so many more toxicities than using your own healthy stem cells. So if we could figure out some way of, of bringing that graft versus lymphoma effect into the autologous arena, by just by doctoring the patient's own cells, we may be able to achieve better results. So our goal is to, to take these cells to make them more anti-lymphoma uh, and also to ensure that they're able to get back into the patient, survive, and do their job. Um, and so right now that's still in the early stages. We're, we're still looking to make sure that the cells we give are, are safe and that they're able to survive, that we can track them and find them later. Uh, six months or a year later after the transplant. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing right now.